Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the gang. So today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing Kara Care's newly launched line called Curl Essence. And I just want to say shout out to Kara Care for sponsoring this video as well. So yeah, when I first came across this line, I was super hyped because I used to use Kara Care back in the day when I was relaxed and also when I was transitioning. So when I seen that they came out with a line catered to natural hair, I was like, woo say word so today I'm gonna be reviewing five of the ten products that they sent over so that means there is something in there for everybody I'm just gonna look over here on my computer and let you guys know what the curl essence um, line is about so it says curl essence features Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil to lock in amazing moisture leaving your hair soft manageable and healthy and it's best for type 3 and 4 hair um without further ado we just gotta hop into this video because i'm pretty sure you guys want to know how it works in my hair so let's hop right into it okay guys so the first thing i'm going to go in with is the curl essence moisturizing co-wash this is a sulfate free cleansing conditioner and i usually like to co-wash my hair at least one time a week so that's what i'm doing here and as you can see as i apply it to my hair it doesn't really set up or anything like that because again it is a sulfate free cleansing conditioner and i don't mind that at all as long as i know that it's kind of cleaning my scalp then i'm good so yeah when i am looking for a cleansing conditioner i usually look for something that's super gentle on my hair and that doesn't strip my hair of its natural oils and moisture and all that and that is what this does so the first thing i noticed when putting this on is that it's very very moisturizing and that it's easy just to detangle with your fingers or your hands so you kind of get you know good slippage with it and everything so i do really like that because you know when it's that midpoint in the week you want to find something that's just going to make the whole wash process easier but yeah, as you can see, I'm just detangling my hair with so much ease just because this product has so much slip. And once I washed it out, my hair was so soft and so moisturized and I was just in love, okay? And I do wanna let you guys know that these products do somewhat smell like candy. Well, there's like a strong scent. It does smell like a sweet something something. So just keep that in mind. So before I hopped out the shower, I did go in with their cocoa water. This was one product I was like, what? Huh? What is this? I've never seen a product like this before, but I thought it was very interesting. It does contain the Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil, and it's supposed to lock in the moisture. So that's kind of what I did. And it's also supposed to help prevent frizz. And you know, if there's a product that says it's supposed to help with frizz, I'm all for it because my hair is frizzy AF. So yeah, I just sprayed this all over my hair. So yeah, now we are gonna move on to styling. So I'm just parting my hair in the middle just to make it easier to apply the product. And I'm gonna start with this side. I'm just gonna spritz my hair with some water and also some of the cocoa water. And then I'm gonna apply Kara Kara's Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm not really a fan of leave-in conditioners because they're usually like super thin and just they don't do anything for my hair. But when I seen this one, it literally looked like a styling cream. It's very, very thick, but it's also nice and creamy. So I'm like, okay, okay, this will probably work for my hair. So I applied it all over my hair like I usually do for my wash and goes. And I instantly felt a lot of slip and I seen my hair getting defined. And... I, like I said, like I told you guys, I know when my hair is gonna have a good wash and go or when it's not, like right away when I apply products and I knew that I was gonna get a good wash and go with this. So yeah, I'm just literally applying the, as much product as I need. I usually know how much I need according to how my hair looks and how it feels. So that's usually what I go on. And as you can see, I use a lot of product. It's because my hair needs a lot of product. So yeah, this leave-in conditioner seals in the cuticles and it adds shine to dry and frizzy hair, which is everything that I have. So hallelujah. So for me, when it comes to styling and doing my wash and goes, I always need some type of gel that's gonna hold my curls together. So I'm using the Moisturizing Curl Jelly. And this jelly is a little bit different than all the other jellies that I've tried. The texture is just totally different. It's not sticky, which I like. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the sticky kind of jelly. So yeah, I was happy about that. So yeah, I literally just layered this over top of the leave-in conditioner and instantly I felt slip, which is what I look for in a 
styler and I kind of just applied as much as I needed as usual and this is supposed to actually hold your curl for frizz free definition without flaking and you guys can see that I put on a lot of product I just kind of keep slathering it on and raking it throughout my hair and I kind of rake my curls until they're like smooth and then I kind of let the curl form on its own. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like so far. As you can see, my curls are actually pretty defined. There is a lot of product on there, but trust me guys, it's all gonna go away once it dries. And then I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing to the next section. I'm gonna apply some of the cocoa water, detangle, apply some of the Curl Essence Leave-In Conditioner, and just rake that through my hair until I'm pretty much happy with it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Curl Jelly as my styler and just to kind of set my curls. And then also for further definition, I do like to break up each section into smaller sections and then I kind of rake my hands through that as well. And this just kind of, I don't know what you call it, it kind of forms the curl together. And yeah, I just, I just get some really bomb results when I do this. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing to each section. The front part is always easier than the back because I think this is the looser part of my hair. So yeah, y'all could just bop to some music and um, watch me do the rest of my hair. Ryan Litty. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm finally done as you can see and I'm just so happy because doing wash and goes take a lot of time and it's very messy but it's all good. But the last thing I'm gonna do to just set this whole look off is apply some of the leave-in and the gel, mix them together. I do this with all of my products at the very, very end just for the final touches. And then I'm gonna apply it to each side and this is just gonna help really plump up the curls and just further define them. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do to just really set everything off is apply the moisturizing healthy edges to my edges. And this is just gonna help lay it down because around my edges are just usually always fuzzy and everything. So this is just gonna lay it flat. And then we are pretty much done. I'm gonna let it air dry for about two hours, let the curl set, and then I'm gonna go in with my diffuser. And then I'm gonna show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been about at least five hours now. Um, I did let my hair air dry for the most part, but I did end up diffusing it as well because I needed it to dry. But I have to say that I really, really, really like how my hair came out. The definition is there. It looks really nice. Like my curls are popping. Like look at these ends, honey. These ends are, these ends are bomb. And my hair feels really, really soft. It feels moisturized. Sorry, my nail, my nail, my nail. And there is like a slight hold to my hair, but it is not crunchy. It's not something that I would wanna crunch out. I actually like how my hair feels, so I do really like that. And just looking at my hair, I know that it's gonna last me at least four days. So I'm super excited and it looks really, really, really good. And I would definitely use these products again. So if you guys are interested in trying out these products, I will leave the links down below. You can find them at Sally. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about my hair. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys all in the next one.